Hello and welcome again to another edition of parkbench.com. Today I am with uh, Lakeisha Matthews of Caring uh, with a Smile yes. uh, here in Franklin, Kentucky. So, uh, Keisha, tell us a little bit about uh, Caring with All a right. Smile. Caring with a Smile is a non medical personal service agency. We're also a certified uh, family care home uh, facility. Uh, we send caregivers into the community to help the elderly with activities of daily living. Uh, we've been open since uh, 2019 and we are now working on our five years uh, being in business. Wow, that's great. So tell me a little bit about non-medical caregiving. What exactly is that? Non-medical is pretty much in-home care to the elderly. Going in and helping with them activities of daily living such as like housekeeping, meal preparation, medication reminders, dressing, okay. bathing, grooming, transpa transportation, just all non-medical things because okay. uh, we're not skilled. Okay, but are there some, I know there's some simple home uh, care things that you could possibly, can, can you take like blood pressure? Things well, like yes, that? you can. Okay. And I'm also a certified uh, phlebotomist, so we can also, I can go in and draw blood as well if someone oh, okay. doesn't want to go out of their home to do that. Okay, well that could be very yes. helpful, <laughs> sure. Especially during winter months right. and things like yes. that. Of course, we don't want people to Absolutely. have to go out and get hurt or something. Uh, so now, are, are there different scales as far as the home care? I mean, do you do it for one hour a day or up to eight hours a day? Uh, it is flexible. We leave everything up to our extended family, which we call our clients. So if they come and tell us they need care for five days a week for eight hours a day, that's exactly what we do. We don't go in and say, this is what we do. We allow them to tell us when they feel like they need the care. Okay. Uh, now I know in, uh, around the national area there 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 people are always seeking home care things like that it doesn't seem like there's enough right so i mean are you staying busy you are staying busy okay <laughs> but you have room for others or we do okay. absolutely we do. how about uh, your help i mean are you fully staffed or are you looking for we are fully staffed but all the time except on applications okay. um, just so we can continue to take on as much as we can if someone calls us we don't have to have a waiting list so we try to um, make sure all right that we uh, keep right. that going okay now I've got another good question and I'm just trying to think of questions that might come out in, okay. in the general public say uh, I stay at home with my mother or father or whatever the case may be but I have to go out of town mm -hmm or something, I don't want to leave them there or something like that. Can I drop them off? Absolutely, okay. facility, as long as we're not, as far as in the care home facility here, as long as we're not fully, um, our beds aren't full, then yes. But if not, then we can come out and do that temporary in the home if you need us to do it in the home. Okay, well it sounds like you're very flexible oh, yes. and able to help a lot of people do a lot of different things. Absolutely. Which I think is, is a big asset to a lot of it people. It definitely is. Especially for Franklin, because okay. you know most of them comes in and out of Franklin. Right. So now, something else you said earlier about uh, home care for the elderly. Do you also do home care for maybe somebody else that maybe is disabled or? Uh, we have. Or is there point, an age limit? I guess. Is what <laughs> we have at one point because uh, there was a disability or you know an accident we went right, in, right. but our main focus is the elderly. Okay, I understand. Uh, well, tell me a little bit about Lakeisha. All right. Well, I'm born and raised here in Franklin, Kentucky. Uh, I have six siblings. Well, five. I'm the sixth only girl. Uh, fur baby name is Lady. Uh, graduated in 2005 here, Franklin Simpson High School. Um, went to Western, a Western graduate. And pretty much I've been working in the medical field since I was 18 years old. No. From what I remember, because I did a little research, I mean, you had quite a trip to get to this yes, point. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so what made you decide in doing this? I didn't. It okay. decided. It <laughs> decided. <laughs> yes. Well, you it, know, a lot of people to say, you know, you yes. don't find the job, the job yes. finds It you. came to me, and I just couldn't run away from it. Like, I, I didn't think I would ever be in the healthcare field, but once I got into it, I couldn't leave. So yeah. I always say it came to me. I didn't go to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it did. I'm sure a lot of people out there are glad that it did too. 
Well, tell people how they can find out more information and right. get in touch with you. Uh, to contact Karen with a smile, of course, you can visit us on our website at www.caringwithsmile.com. You can give us a call at 270-306-1402, or you can stop by our office at 614 Todd Street here in Franklin, Kentucky. Perfect. Well, if you have any questions, please get in touch with her. I'm sure she'd be able to work with you and get something uh, uh, that works for you. If you have any questions about real estate, give me a call, Jim Atkins. Thank you again for watching. Thank you. That's a wrap. <laughs>